Hello students, I am Froilin from St. Xavier's College and today I will be talking about renewable energy transition. Today we are going to learn about why we need energy transition, what are energy transition metals and what are the risks that we have to face in this process. So let's start with the root of all universal problems, climate change. Climate change is not only the greatest environmental emergency of our time, but also a huge human rights crisis. Fossil fuel emissions are the ultimate reason for the increase in climate change. The burning of fossil fuels is killing people and damaging the environment. It has to stop. Now to limit environmental and human rights impact of climate change, the world needs to urgently cut emissions. Fossil fuel emissions are caused by cars, vehicles, factories, industries, etc. Fossil fuel emissions threaten a wide range of human rights, including the right to water, the right to health, and the right to life itself. This is why the global economy should slowly move away from fossil fuels and towards renewable energy sources. We have to sh urgently stop burning fossil fuels. Now what's the solution to this? We need a renewable energy transition. Now there are other sources for renewable energy, but today I'm going to talk about the main point, which is batteries. Our energy transition desperately requires batteries. Batteries are set to replace the fossil fuel emissions and save our planet. Now these batteries will be needed to power electrical vehicles, electric cars, electric buses and provide storage for renewable energy. These batteries will be used to power electronic handheld devices like mobiles, laptops, cameras and power tools. Now we've learned that this shift to renewable energy is very essential and batteries are very important for our future. But this energy transition comes with its own risks. Firstly, let's see how energy transition metals are formed. So the production of batteries and electrical vehicles requires the special type of metals and minerals, which are known as energy transition metals. The most common metals are cobalt, lithium, nickel, and copper. So major locations of these metals and minerals that are found all over the world are given here. Keep in mind that these metals are also found in India. These are the major reservoirs. As you can see, lithium is comparatively rare among all the other metals. Now this also brings in a political aspect where governments are trying to get hold of these transition metals and minerals for their own economical advantage. But let's keep that aside for a second. The major issue that we are going to face with energy transition is mining. Extraction of these raw metals and minerals that we just spoke about threatens human rights and causes environmental harm. Mining these battery minerals is harming people. Mines are evicting people from their homes and polluting the surrounding environment. Human rights are tarnished, child labor is done, loss to life is taken place. Hence, mining is one of the crucial, crucial risks that we are facing in the modern world. Let's talk about the environmental issues that we face through mining. The first point is high water pollution. A lot of water is used for mining processes and it is contaminated. Similarly, the groundwater and all surrounding water is also contaminated through mining factories and industries. Air pollution from heavy machinery. Mining factories release a certain type of dust called mining dust. This dust on inhaled can cause immense respiratory factors and health damages to people and animals of all time. The third point is tailings waste production. Now what is tailings waste? 
while mining, we can't just directly mine the ores. There has to be a waste mining product along with the reservoir that we are going to mine. So for example, when we are mining cobalt from the ore, we are also going to get a deposit of iron and all of this waste metal is subsided along the tailings waste production. Now the next step after mining is shipping of these metals. These minerals are shipped around the world in container ships that themselves use heavy fossil fuels. So during the production of batteries, we are at the same time burning fossil fuels again. After shipping, these metals are then processed by metal smelters and refiners that again use fossil fuels, namely coal. Cobalt, lithium, nickel and copper these energy transition metals are of course going to save our planet, but their shipping and processing and mining is again detrimental to our planet. Batteries are formed after these energy transition metals are processed. Now again, the irony as I said, we have caused a lot of emissions throughout this process. So what can be done? Batteries are used in electric vehicles and energy storage. Cobalt, copper, nickel and lithium are the key components of rechargeable batteries that power electric cars and buses. At the end of their use, these batteries are disposed of and a higher proportion of these minerals need to be recovered and the batteries need to be repurposed. So what's the solution? what can be done. Respect for human rights and the environment should be the central to energy transition. Humanity must stop burning dirty fossil fuels. Batteries are an integral part of the energy transition. But we have to make sure that this transition is a just transition for all. We cannot repeat the same mistakes of the past. We have to make sure that the energy transition must protect human rights and the environment. Now is the time to take action to ensure a truly clean energy transition where respect for human rights is central. That's the end of my presentation. I hope that this was an informative video. Thank you so much. You can mail me regarding your queries.